Good morning. Uh, today we're going to talk about returning a renter's uh, security deposit. In 2014 there was a new law, so throw out everything you think you know about returning security deposits and start over. Here's the new law. Uh, within 30 days, you need to send either the full deposit or list of any charges to the last known address. There used to be a provision that you could wait until they gave you a, a new address and mail it within 15 days. That provision is gone, so 30 days from move out to the last known address, either the full deposit or uh, kind of a letter describing charges. I, I, would, I would summarize three letters like this. Letter one, congratulations Paul, you had a thousand dollar deposit, you um, did no damages, you received the whole thousand dollars back. Letter two, uh, congratulations, you had a thousand dollar deposit, there's only about five hundred dollars damages and cleaning costs, so you get five hundred back. Letter three, unfortunately your deposit was only a thousand, uh, your damages were three thousand, that means you uh, still owe us 2000 please pay that amount vigorously or immediately or we will vigorously pursue collection. So those are kind of the three letters. And to the last known address, okay? If you don't know what that is, that is your apartment, your rental home, um, that is always fine to send it there. If it comes to the mailbox, pull it out, put it in your file. We never mail anything as landlord certified. We always just mail it regular mail. Okay, now let's talk about the penalty phase. The penalties have increased if you don't follow the law, but the good news is we also received in the new law an opportunity to cure, which means if a renter doesn't receive it within 30 days, they are obligated to let us know. And they let us know in the following way. They give us a notice uh, before any penalties are um, assessed, the tenant must give notice to the landlord that states nothing was received. Uh, they are requesting the deposit or a list of charges within five business days and they must give us a new address. Now there is a form, it's on the UAA's website, it's also in the statute. The, the tenant is supposed to use what's called a substantially equivalent version of this form. If they write you a letter and it has these three elements, you're going to accept it and within five days, send it to wherever they ask. If you don't, the penalties are significant. If a landlord still does not return, the tenant can receive 100% of the deposit. So it's a thousand dollar deposit, they get a thousand dollars, right off the bat, plus $100, plus prevailing parties receive uh, attorney's fees and court costs. So that's the new uh, deposit law. Have a nice day.